What's up guys, my name is Andrew Suarez and today I have some really exciting news. So fully sandbox applications are almost here. So fully sandbox applications mean that instead of having multiple package types like a .deb or a .tarball or some other package formats for Linux. So as of right now, well, the only way you can install a program on Linux is through your distributions format or how your distribution is set up. If you're running Debian, you'd either do it from .deb or like the Ubuntu App Store or something like that. With like Arch Linux, you do it from the AUR or the terminal where you do uh, pacman-s and you go through terminal. And there's different ways. There's tarball or tar.gz. Um, that's another way where you have to extract it with the make file and then make it on the computer. So there's a lot of different formats for different distributions, and I think Fedora has their own as well. So what this is, uh, what GNOME is doing, they're trying to make a way where all dis every distribution will have the same package type. So I can install the same program on Arch Linux and do the same thing on Debian, and then do it on every distribution. You'd get the same package type, whatever that dot, whatever would be a dot, whatever. So that is awesome because I think the main problem with Linux, rise of right now, is it's not streamlined enough. For a new user to jump on board, you have to be technological. You have to know technology or be willing to understand it and be willing to learn it. And I know a lot of people who aren't that type of person and would have tremendous trouble trying to do Linux. Where on Windows, you just double click it and install next, 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 install, done. Where Linux, you have to say, okay, does this is there a version for my distro? You search it online. Or, or is this version work? No. Okay, I got to find a version that works. Oh, that doesn't work. I got to go find a different way. I got to do it through the terminal. I got to actually grab the .deb. See, it's, it's a lot of fragmentation for how to install a program. And for a new user, that would be confusing. For a person who's not already into the Linux field and doesn't understand how to install a program in Linux, that'd be very, very confusing to do. Having to find, you can't download a .deb on Fedora or Mate or another distro, you can't do the same thing you've been doing. And it's also better for developers. If I, and I want to learn, I, I've been learning programming and I do a lot of programming too, where I want to make a, a, a Linux application, but I'd have to make it for Debian and Arch Linux and make all the packages and then upload it to their website and make sure everything works properly for every single Linux distribution I want to make it for. But for this, if I, I can make my, my program for one Linux distribution and never have to worry about it never working, or I can make it for just this one package type, whatever they call it. And then it will work for every different Linux distributions. Now, there's a program called Neverbolt. Neverbolt is the first sandboxed application for GNOME. So you can download Neverbolt right now. And this is fully sandboxed, where Neverbolt has no access to hardware except aside for the 3D graphics. It has no network access and has no access to the account files. It can only output through via Pulse Audio. That's really, really good. So minimal usage on your machine. So why would a game need to see my applications or a folder? You don't need to see one folder where it's reading and writing. So this is really good. I think this is the future of Linux. This is the way Linux will be in the future where you're going to download your distribution and you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to download all my applications. I'm going to go to the website you're going to go to and just download it. Chrome, you download the program. You don't have to think of doing it the other way, or maybe I would assume that they're going to leave it the way it is as of right now. You can only, you'll probably be always able to download through terminal, and that's how I prefer to do it anyway. To download it from terminal, but for people who need to do this for a business and are not technological and don't want to have to think about another step and another process to do, this would be very good because then they can make an app store across Linux that you can download. Instead of having, to, I can't download Ubuntu App Store, or the Ubuntu Software Center onto Arch because those programs are made for Debian. But one day we can see a Linux Software Center or a Linux Software Store where you can download applications for any distribution you can see and that'd be a really really amazing thing because then people can just go on that store and be like okay I'm gonna download this this and this and never have to think about having to open to a terminal which is against the Linux way but for a, a person who doesn't want to deal with the terminal and doesn't know how to get around the terminal that would be really beneficial to them so that's gonna be it for this video what do you think about sandboxing applications in Linux I think it's the future but what do you think write it down in the comment section below and I'll message you back. Always remember to please rate, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.